Alright, everyone, welcome back to episode 2 of our Crimea game. Uh, I did some uh, thinking with the help of um, Pizza, who you can check out in the little description below. Um, and we have a few more goals for the series. First of all, it is now becoming Crimean Crusaders because we are going to try and form the uh, Mongols as a Catholic. So, probably gonna have to get over here in some way, or take Genoa's land. Probably in the end it's gonna be take Genoa's land, honestly. Um, anyway, um, Georgia is still not so loyal, but we can deal with that for now. Uh, and we were just developing it, the Crimea a bit to get feudalism. Expected to be here by 1453. It looks like about two months, actually. Or, I guess maybe three. Legalism. I'm only pushing for legalism because that's how we're going to naturally head. And I think it's much better to just go in this direction than to try and fight it, go towards mysticism, because that missionary strength and morale of armies is tasty. Actually, thinking about it, the bonuses from legalism are probably better anyway, because it, it gives the tax, which is good, manpower modifier, which is amazing, and tech cost, which is amazing, so, yeah. Let's see. Yeah, can't attack Lithuania. That's annoying. I wonder if I can eventually ally someone to do that. To fight them. Take the two mercantilism. That cancel. Yeah, move over here. I wish there was a way to just poke rebels because sometimes I want them to spawn quicker. Oh. Yeah. I think that's one of. Uh, let's just not do that. There we go. Oh, perfect. Right in time. And. Whoops. Right click that. Give it a bit of uh, maintenance that way it'll start. Um, start reinforcing. There we go. Words. Words are hard. Ooh, this one's getting it at 0.51. Ah, probably all of these are probably getting it fairly quickly. They are. Timur is willing to ally me. Yeah, I kind of have. It looks like the Timurids are going to consolidate power there fairly well. Let's do that. If I want to fight someone, perfect trustworthy allies, diplo rep. Find someone who hates Poland also. Do I have them as a rival? No. Kara. Uh, okay. Sure. I'll quote unquote help you, as in just go back down to zero maintenance and even mothball that fort right there. Maybe my subject will go and help. Sorry about bumping the mic there. Maybe my subject will go and help. Ooh! Perfect. Our 344 is in charge with a 535 air. Now that's pretty good. Wait. Yeah, 535. I thought I may have read that wrong. Um. Would it be worth it now to take two clicks of this to make them loyal. I think it will be. Uh, the reason why I didn't care that much about making them loyal instantly is they currently have a truce with me and they can't actually uh, get into... they can't be supported uh, until the truce is over. Acquire and loot. <laughs> Ottomans. 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 Lately the Ottomans have sucked at actually hating anyone. I mean, eventually they do, but Oh, 15% uh, tech or trade power, trade, isn't going to give me much for like uh, 10 years. So, 
yeah. 61 ducats, please. And embrace an institution, please. Perfect. Mmm. Tasty, tasty. Development. Not development. Tasty. Tech. Perfect, actually. Because now I can fight. Actually, the Great Horde. I think the Great Horde would actually be a great target to attack. Hey, great. Well, no. <laughs> Sorry. It's a stupid joke. Anyway. Um, so currently, what I might consider doing is if I switch to Orthodox first, everything will at least be my same religious group when I switch over. But I don't know. Because I really want to be Catholic, because that's really crusadery. Although what's nice is that I'm probably going to take religious ideas first anyway. Um, and then I get the Dave's fault to cast his belly against all of these guys. So it, it you know, free cast his belly. I mean, I'm a horde already, so I get the free cast his belly, but still. So, so how I'm seeing this go down is first we have to re reform the Golden Horde. That requires a lot of provinces, um, all the way out into Uzbek. So, yeah. But then we we have to do. Then we can reform the Mongol Empire, which is re going to require any more, uh, a lot more, at least. Um, sorry, I'm just checking this real quick. Yeah, we even need to own Beijing. Mongol Empire is pretty large, although it's easier in this because uh, all the provinces are a lot larger. Uh, Timurid's growing a bit. I, actually, I'm not sure if they pieced out to grow there. But I know they have cores on all this, so they probably did. Uh, let's... I'm just going to check. Military, armies, great. They have 18k, but only 5k cav. Plus, I might be able... No, I can't recruit. I'm going to... Okay, do I want to take a loan or debase currency? I think I'm going to want to debase currency because I can do the enforce uh, faithful adherence uh, soon. Wait, uh, does this get me move us towards mysticism by a negative 16%? So I'm guessing that is moving. I'm not sure if that's moving away because it's a ne Okay, I'm. That's a confusing tooltip. Um, but I am going to recruit a general. Ooh! That's one nice general. And, uh, yeah, take the loan, I think. And then recruit. Or actually. No, I can't. Oh, actually, I might have been able to. Alright, host. Uh, I actually could have done this if they had 50 loyalty and influence of 40% or more. Think about it. I could probably give these to the tribes. Um, how do they look now? No, none better. Uh, those are already tribes. How about this? Tribes. There we go. Now I can raise a host. And manpower, please. And then I want to cancel two of those because I believe that's going to get us... Oh, I actually have one more force limit because of something. Doesn't matter. I might just. Yeah, I'll build that. Alright. I think it's time to declare war. Uzbek won't call in. I'm gonna call Kazan in on a promise of territory. 
whether or not I'll obey that promise, that's a different question. Alright, let's head over there. Oh, actually, this is still producing. Yeah, and we just finished with those cav. Alright, let's go to Lower Dawn. Oh, Georgia got black flagged. Haha. -ha. Let's see here. Stack wipe. Golden Horde isn't renting out troops anymore. What a surprise. Um, let's go down there. Let's go over here. This is a really risky thing to do, all this carpet sieging. But it looks like it's going to pay off. Hopefully. Ryzen is their vassal? Cool. Um, uh, wait, who's attacking there? Alright, those guys. Uh, you don't. How about we go there? Uh, all these guys are going to meet up there. I'm perfect. <laughs> Muscovy is at war with Great Horde. Yeah, Great Horde's going to fall apart now. Which is good. Stack wipe there. Consolidate. Move actually these guys down to there. Oh, you can move up to there. This has been fairly quick so far. Oh, wait. Call for peace with... Oh, must have been with those guys. That would have been a, an interesting call for peace. Alright. So. Let's take all those cav off. Put these two infantry on. No, no. Alright. Royal Mary the Timurids. Oh, do they have a full fort? Neat. Uh, me. Alright. 6k on there. Perfect. Some allies of mine are helping me with that. Alright, let's move on from looting that province then. So, how much land will Kazan want? And what land do I want? I don't have any cores here. But, do I have... I still have the truce with Circassia. I'm just... Okay. Okay. Let's let the game tick by a bit. Kazan wants those three provinces. So if I give them that, then they'll be happy. Siege of Ostrakhan is over. Great. Alright. Uh, that hasn't been fully looted. This hasn't been fully looted. Alright. Um. Yeah, so... Give those two to them, take these two for my or these three for myself, take their money. That's a lot of money. Um if I take Oh. Uh so if I only take that I can humiliate them. No, okay, I want Huh. It's interesting. If I don't take any money, I can't even take those two. How much is... 8, 6... 5, 8, 6, 8. Interesting, it's not... Oh, I bet it's their capital. Alright, how about I give them... Wait, that's worth 75, that's worth 71. But they're not willing with either of those alone. Um... Ooh, what about those two? That's 73. Hmm. That is the lowest war score they'd be willing to take. 
Oh, and I can't even take all those provinces without them getting angry. Oh, I can't even take that. Just... Okay, I guess I'll s just sit on it for a little bit. Now they're at low enthusiasm. Maybe, yeah, now they'll agree to that. Plus a humiliate, plus... Ne not even all their money. No, okay. Hold on. I guess we'll have to negotiate some more with them. Yeah. Um... Uh, luckily they're rich, so this should be fine. Uh, like the taking loans bit. Uh, I should equip looting map mode. I'm just thinking of what it should be best bound to. Because that's bound to those three. Alright, I'll bind it maybe to... I like this being political only, so I might bind it to this. Uh, looting, 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 looting. Loot. There we go. So, Q. Wait, why is... Th okay, that was just a bug. Ooh, that's actually 16 gold ducats available in loot there. Nice. Uh... Oh, they actually have troops left. Interesting. Be willing to take that. Um, yeah, how about you You guys, can you just not, please? Oh, they're... Come on. Okay, let's send these guys down there, I guess. Sorry. I just feel like I need to sneeze. <clears throat> There we go. Alright. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, great. Georgia is now very loyal. In fact, I'm going to divert trade on him. We earn 0.62 ducats out of the Crimea node. Look at that. We're rich. Or, yeah. That's the peace deal we want. Still not willing to give it to us, though. Alright. That's gone. How about Yelets? Elites. Hmm. Alright. Nope, nope. Not what I wanted. Like that. Uh, still not really working. Uh, ten more war score. I can't even, like, peace rising now. And Muscovy is not gonna peace out soon. How's their army looking? Oh, they still have 13k. Where is this great horde? Oh, there's some great horde stuff. I'm just gonna regroup my entire army. Alright. That's a powerful general. Oh. Are they... I guess they ran away again. Yay, fun. Yay, they're now willing to accept our peace seal. Good. 227 ducats, please. Plus a bit of land. Plus I get to raise that land. Yes. Yes. Tasty, tasty, tasty. Pay off my loans. Thank you. Do I, wait, I still have 55 ducats worth. Alright, never mind. Not all of our loans are done then. No, no, not gonna pay for any of that. Crimea is not even that good a terrain. Do I even need it as a fort? Yeah, I probably should keep it. Great. Ooh. National manpower modifier or tax modifier and yearly corruption down. I don't think I'm gonna have a big problem with corruption. So I'll probably go for the main power because that's that seems very important. Uh, yeah, tribal religion, lip service versus religious society. Interesting. And then we can become... Oh, we're currently a tribe. 
Are we up? Not. Wait. Oh, I guess we're not a horde right now? Interesting. We're Khanate. This state is a tribe. Alrighty then. I guess we'll become a horde. Because that sounds fun. Uh, do I need to be a... Has enacted step nomads. Or, we are step nomads. We're just not a horde. Despite the fact we have horde unity. Cool. Yeah. That seems interesting. Hmm. I don't like you, Auto Man. So how's our truce? That's not truce. This is truce. Except for Kara. Timurids wouldn't even be willing. Oh. They're not close enough yet, I guess. But I can take tech 5 mil, so I'm not behind time on that. And, well, we are surprisingly not behind time on tech very far. That is one of the good parts of ha having Genoa here, is that they give us tons and tons of uh, institutions. Can you just drop out of the EU? Not EU. Uh, it's basically the EU. Hold your own empire. There we go. Words. Sorry. All right. Uh, just core that. The Muscovy. I don't like that. Muscovy is expanding too quickly. Um. Yep. National manpower modifier. Great. And now for something completely different. No. Um. Unite the tribes. I have to own all of those. Oh, that's cool. Subjugate the Kazakhs. Are these unique to Crimea? Uh, not, yeah, Crimea. Or are these unique to any horde? Because it seems possible either way. Whoa. That's actually pretty cool. Paid China. Yes, please. These could be unique to Crimea. Because these seem to basically just be here. Go and do a ton of things. I mean, we have Crimean expansion. Is not subject nation 25 in the Zov and Crimea area. So that appears to be very much Crimea focused. I'm. Yeah, I don't know. Rune Ruthenia. Oh, that looks so good. Just like, just still annoyed at Genoa for being part of the Holy Roman Empire. I think it's 1490 when they'll drop out, if I'm not mistaken. Ooh. But we do have Tribal Conquest on Circassia again. Hmm. Ooh. I can't make these guys. Oh, these guys are. Oh, these guys are part of the Genoan Trade League. This might actually be a good idea. Ooh. Might is the key word there. Be a good idea. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna take religious ideas, I guess. Yeah, that seems like a good idea. If we're going for the whole crusade thing. Yeah, when I finally get my truce over with these guys, I can attack them, and that'll put me at war with Genoa. Yeah, and that's going to put me at war with Genoa without putting me at war with the Holy Roman Emperor or Genoa's allies, only the Trade League, and that's a ton of little miners, so hopefully they won't just gang up on me, because I'm sure all of their armies have a total strength greater than mine, but the real question is, is that strength 
like oh wait what they're allied to Muscovy all right that throws a bit of a wrench into my plans well then um I guess I won't be attacking Circassia today then uh, next war will be down here uh, legalism time um uh... Huh. Alright, where is it? Immoretti, there we go. That was actually fairly quick. Uh, I would like my maintenance back, please. And... Yeah. Alright. Yep, reca reconquest. Let's go. Perfect. And how many troops do I need to leave here? Three? Uh, one, two, three. And I'm gonna leave four just to be safe. And then I suspect most of it, yeah. Too bad I don't have enough boats to protect actually everything. But, oh well. More loans, also! Yay, my favorite! I just realized this is probably going to be another 30 minute episode. Um, oh well, I guess since we're getting the nation started, that'll be fine. Uh, Shasha is... sure. Gains claim on Crimea, or Kaffa. Sure, I'll take a free... especially since that's the other option. Uh, 100 Diplo points seems better than losing one stability, because that's like a bit more than 100 admin. Also, I can uh, root out corruption. So I could press this. Did I just press loan? No, I think that, yeah, I pressed D-base currency. Good. And then I can just press that. Yay! Faithful adherence. Oh, actually, this guy is too siege, so I'm actually gonna put him on the siege. Just you there, you come back. All right. So, oh, good vassal. That's why I love vassals. Vassals are really nice for that sort of thing. Just autonomous little. I'm gonna do what you wanted me to do. All right, so these two are gonna be okay. So here's how it works. Our ours are mostly cap, so fire is going to or shock is gonna matter a lot more for us. So these two are actually basically gonna be the same at combat, like under 90% of scenarios. Um. Yeah, this looks like an okay fight to take. Yeah, we don't have insufficient support. And they are dead. Mmm. Tasty European. And finished that siege. So you guys can come over here. Uh, how's that loot look? Well then, yeah, let's just pile onto Azov. Interesting though that we don't have more war score. Probably some of it is the fact that we're under siege. And to Circassia, <laughs> that would be funny. But no, uh, I'll take those two, please. Yeah. So basically, this is gonna take a while, I'm guessing, because I'm not gonna walk all the way over here. Although I can almost. Can't walk to Mainz. Can't walk to Genoa. Oh, I can't even walk through the Terra Incognita. That makes sense. Alright, that's gone. Alright, so. Ostracani Separatists. Perfect. How do you guys feel about landing more armies? 
Ostracon. Boom. Dead. Yeah, our army is really powerful. Perfect. And... I'm just going to sweat up my army among these two. Just to take the loot tick even quicker. Anyway, this is going to be the end of this episode. The, uh, I hope you guys have a great rest of the day. This is Captain Slime signing off, and I will see you in the next episode. Goodbye.